we will calculate the height and the width of this face image so we will name it as fh and fw fh and fw and this will be face dot shape now we are again going to create a face blob dot blob from image face Okay. Now we will simply pass this face blob into our uh, uh, the face recognition model which we created. So let me see. So we have the face recognition face recognizer. So I'll simply here write face recognizer dot set input face blob, and now we will simply uh, fetch the results so we will save that results and face recognizer dot forward now we need to calculate the name of the particular person and the uh, the conference score of that particular person as well so for this we will write And name we can get from our label encoder now once we have the name the, the conference code we can simply uh, put it in our frame using CV put so let's create a string for that so name so we are going to display the name and the probability which is the conference score in 200 and uh, let's also see where we are going to display this so start y minus 10 if start y minus 10 is greater than 10 else we'll simply start y plus 10 now let's use cv2 dot rectangle to display uh, to draw the bounding box of the face and we are going to uh, draw it using red color and let's put the thickness as 2 now we will simply use cv2 dot put text to put the uh, text we have uh, created we are going to use font Herschel simplex and fund scale will be 0.65 again the color will be same as red and the thickness will be again 2 so this is done I think, uh, so at the end we just need to display 
the frame so cv2 dot i am show and let me add frame and frame and let's also wait key so here we are just simply mentioning that if we press so if we press q so it should stop so if key is equals to equals to q it should break and once it's break let's destroy all windows okay so this is done what we have done is that we have basically loaded our detection model recognition model and then we are starting the video file we are getting the frames from it we are converting the blob and then we are passing it using uh, passing it in the face detection model after this we are only considering the faces which has the probability of let's say 50 percent and then we are again extracting the faces and then passing it in our face recognition model and then we are simply predict, uh, predicting the name and the confidence score and then displaying it on the frame so let me run this code and see if it works or not so let's run this run this recognition script so it should load our test video file okay so it has loaded our test video file but i'm not sure why it's uh, the font family is not correct let me check okay so we have used script instead of simplex let me run the code again okay perfect so you can see here uh, the lady on the left is being recognized as unknown which is fine because we haven't trained this particular lady uh, the lady on the left is not getting detected as well because it's too much side face and thus our detection model is simply ignoring it uh, the person on the right is getting detected as matthew which is correct because we have trained this particular person as matthew now let's wait for uh, another person to come in okay so in between it was shown as unknown but it is now getting recognized as adam uh, which is fine but you can see that the conference score is a bit low i would say which is around 70 percent and the reason being uh, we have only trained six images for this particular person and to improve the conference score we need higher amount of images uh, in our database directory which is fine we can uh, do that later but for now it's detecting fine so this is adam so this particular person is getting recognized fine which is adam and uh, this is now not getting recognized because there is no face in the frame but i believe if this person has a side face it will be also recognized so in this way we can do uh, inferencing we can recognize the person's face image and uh, to improve the accuracy to improve the confidence score of the recognition person we need higher amount of uh, images more and more number of images gives us the more good accuracy so this was just for the testing purpose if you want to use your usb webcam instead of the video file you can simply replace uh, this particular line and you can simply mention zero or one for your uh, webcam so i guess that's all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel